So hello everyone, it's back with me, Michael here, and this is the MSI GS40 uh, Phantom, which we reviewed a couple months ago already. So, and this one is the new GS43 VR Phantom Pro. This is actually essentially the same laptop, but this one comes with the GTX 970, and this one comes with the GTX 1060. But since both of these laptops are essentially the same thing, this is just a new, newer model. So I don't want to make a second time review with all the details mentioned in a previous video about the GS40. So the, about the GS43, I want just to make a uh, comparison, performance comparison between the older model and also the newer model. Once again, the Phantom Pro is practically the same to its predecessor. From weight, looks, Full HD display, NVMe SSD, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, till the port collection. Guess what? It was quite unbelievable for me the last time I saw a laptop of this size sporting a GTX 970M inside. And suddenly, a desktop class GTX 1060 is now inside of this little beast, which is just amazing for a 14 inch computer at less than 2 kilograms. So let's begin from the mandatory benchmark program, the DX11 based 3D Mark Fast Drive, where the GS43 VR excels about 4000 points in graphic score and 3000 points in overall score. Next, we're testing this laptop on the most recent content with full DX12 support, the 3D Mark Time Spy. Now we can see that the GS40 is even further behind with about 60% difference. Impressive. This probably means that the new Pascal architecture is truly optimized for running DX12. In Heaven Benchmark, the difference is somehow even more significant. Now enough with the benchmarks, let's try some gaming on this computer. At first we were playing Overwatch at max settings. Even when most people have no problems running the game at 70 FPS, the GS43 VR can keep it above 100 to 110 FPS, avoiding you from any input lags and disappointments as long your connection remains stable. Moving on to Rise of the Tomb Raider at very high settings, the GTX 1060 has about 35% margin of victory compared to the GTX 970M. All this can be achieved by the new GPU without a significant increase in heat output. In the end, we can see a 35 up to 50% performance increase compared to the previous generation at the price difference of just about 100 bucks. Well, if you already have a GS40, you shouldn't upgrade to this laptop. But for those who previously want to buy a GS40, be wise. Since by saving up just a little bit more, you will receive a far superior gaming experience, VR capability, and enhanced productivity in the same compact package. I know it's not something everyone can afford, but the GS43 VR Phantom Pro is simply one of the best options if you're looking for high mobility without sacrificing some gaming PC class performance. That's the short review and comparison I could make. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day!